Hi everyone, Steve Ruffle here. I've got a question for creationists who think the Earth, solar system, galaxy and universe are only a few thousand years old. Craters. Now they're formed when an asteroid, comet or meteoric rock impacts onto another body. Here's the planet Mercury. A dry, rocky surface absolutely saturated with craters. Here's Earth's moon, also heavily cratered. Then we've got Mars, which is also heavily cratered, with frost and other features. One of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede, again craters and craters, and also its moon Callisto. Moving further out, the moons of Saturn include Phoebe, one of its outermost moons, Iapetus, which is a two-tone moon, but again heavily cratered. We've got Rhea, and moving further in, twin-sized moons, Tethys and Dione. And around the planet Uranus, we've got the moon Miranda. The point is this. When an object impacts at orbital speed, an enormous amount of kinetic or moving energy is transformed into heat energy. We saw this in 1994 when the comet Shoemaker-Levy crashed into Jupiter. That's the flash of the comet impacting at the 7 o'clock position. If all those impacts happened during one short creation event, the heat energy would not have had time to escape before the next impact and the temperature would have risen higher and higher. The, the planet or moon would have melted. And if you believe that the solar system is only a few thousand years old, there would still be molten. If, on the other hand, a body's surface has had millions of years to cool down and solidify between impacts, then explaining features like this is no problem at all. It's like putting on coats of paint. You've just got to let each one dry before putting the next one on. So, dear creationists, please tell me how a young solar system theory explains heavily cratered surfaces which are also cold and solid. Can't wait.